Today I'll be demonstrating some alterations you can make to the front end of your site when you have Translate Inline enabled for Storefront. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is go to Stores and then Configuration. And then you're going to scroll on down until you see Advanced and just expand that. And then click Developer. Now once you're here, you're just going to find Translate Inline and expand that. And here we can see that these two translate inline should always be disabled for both the storefront and admin, but for altering on the front end for specific things, you can enable it. So I'm going to do so, click yes, and then click save config. And here it's notifying me that I should clear my cache and I'm going to do so. So I'm going to click system and then cache management. And then I'm going to click Flush Magento Cache. And now I'm going to go to the front end of my site. And I'm going to refresh it. And now I can see that these red boxes appear. Now this means that I can alter these specific items. Today I'm going to be altering the email address subscription text. I don't want it to just say email address. It's a little vague, so I want it to say enter email address here. And I can do so by clicking this little book in the corner of the red box. And now this box appears with multiple options. So here's where we can create a custom translation, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. So instead of just saying email address, I want it to say enter email address here. So you just make your changes. And if you want this custom translation to only appear on this specific storefront, you can do so by checking this box, but I don't want that, so I'm going to leave it unchecked. And once you're happy with your custom translation, you just click Submit. Now just a note, no matter how many times you just refresh this page on its own, it won't show your custom translations. So you're going to have to go flush your cache in the Magento Admin panel. So I'm going to do so right now. And since I'm already here, I'm just going to click Flush Magento Cache once again. And now you can go back to the front end, refresh this page, and you can see if your changes have been made. In my case it has. It now says enter email address here, which is perfect. So you can use this to alter multiple things, not just your email subscription. You can also use this little trick to alter the thank you messages on your contact forms or any sort of forms on your site. There's many, many things you can use this for. But once you've done making all your alterations, you should really go disable it quickly. So I'm going to do so now by going back to the admin panel and I'm going to select stores, configuration, advanced, developer, and I'm going to change this from yes to no once again and save that. And as I'm prompted to do so, I'm going to go clear my cache just once again. And now I'm going to go back to the front end to make sure that Translate Inline has been disabled. And I'm going to refresh it. And perfect. No more red boxes means it's disabled. So I hope this little trick helps you out one way or another. It can be used for multiple, multiple things. This was just a really basic example. Be sure to check out Collins Harper for Best in Industry Magento Web Development. And also, check out our Collins Harper blog for new articles and updates. Thank you very much for watching.